Hey guys, up in the garden. I got a nice little update for you. As you can see, Manhattan is just above my head. But don't worry about that bustling city because we got a nice little garden update. Yes, you can garden on your roof in the city or on a stoop or anywhere. But I went away for five days and damn, things are looking really nice in the garden. It's one of my favorite times up here. The climate is just perfect. It's the beginning of June and you don't really have to do that much at this point. Things are starting to grow. There's not much pruning. It's a really beautiful time and I'm going to show you what's growing in right now. So as you can see, I got some tomato plants growing in and these were actually transplants. I bought them when they were about eight weeks old and I suggest doing that with tomatoes. It's just a little easier than planting them from seed. Um, your success rate is going to go up. So just go to your local farmer's market or garden store and just buy some baby tomato plants. I planted a little purple basil right here. Um, basil and tomatoes work great in the same pot. So I suggest always planting something within your pot if you have room. And here I have plenty of room. So I planted a little purple basil. Coming over here, we got some beautiful zucchini plants growing in. And I think there's even a zucchini that's starting to grow. We come in here, up, oh, there he is. Very, very small, but we focus in on that. That is a zucchini, all right, with a nice zucchini flower coming off. And you can cook those. You can deep fry them, saute them. I actually have a video on that, so you can check it out. I'll hook up the link. But zucchini's coming in. At this point in June, they're just starting to grow, but honestly, in the next two months, these things are gonna grow wild. You'll see off tons of zucchinis. I'll show you a recipe for that. We come over here. I got some beautiful cilantro growing in. Look at that stuff. And I'm actually gonna harvest that today. I have a recipe that I need a bunch of cilantro, so perfect timing. Um, if we move beyond that, we have some little cucumber plants growing in. And these things love the heat, so they haven't really taken off yet. They should start growing in the next month. Like really growing I'm talking these are just you know little puny things right now we'll keep moving along hydrangeas actually over here um, you know why not have some flowers in the garden beautiful little touch never really hurt moving on to bigger and better things grapes actual food the grape plant is going insane I bought this last year and it was just at the top of that stake and now it's spread all over the fence, which was the goal in this. Look at all these bundles of freaking grapes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that many grapes. I might have to make wine, <laughs> I honestly. They have little seeds in these grapes, so they're not the best for eating. They taste delicious, they're just tough to eat. So maybe I'll make some sort of grape dessert or wine if I'm freaking crazy. Moving on, moving on. We got some herbs growing on over here. I just planted this new bed. I got some mint and some thyme right there. A little bit of rosemary here and oregano. I just planted these. I want this to be a perennial bed that I can use season after season. And I definitely suggest you guys start with herbs. Really, really easy to grow. And like I said, you can plant this and you can have it season after season with very little maintenance. And it's gonna save you so much money because one thing that costs a ton of money in the supermarket are fresh herbs. Moving on over here, this thing is looking insane. This is my blueberry tree. Take a freaking look at these. Wow, that is a ton of blueberries all over this thing. They're about, I don't know, it might take another two weeks for those to ripen and I'll show you guys a recipe when those come in, certainly. But this thing, I bought the tree when it was about five years old already. It was a little smaller than this. And you need a mature blueberry bush or tree, whatever you want to call it, before it starts giving blueberries. But this year, I can tell you, is one of the greatest harvests I've had. Look at this thing. There's blueberries everywhere. And they don't make it too far, I can tell you that much. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to actually gather enough before I eat them to make something with them, but I'm gonna try my hardest this season since I have a ton growing in. 
So stick with me in the next two weeks and you're gonna see an awesome recipe with those. Moving on over here. Oh yeah, some of the first food I can actually eat of the season, as you can see, sugar snap peas. I planted this about, I don't know, two months ago and look at that, we got peas. Woo! Let me get into one of these. Again, these are really, oh, I missed it. Can you hear that crunch? These are some of the greatest things to grow in your garden because they're honestly like little snacks you can just munch on whenever you want. Really nice. Again, those don't really make it too far from the garden because I just keep eating them when they grow in, but what the hell are you gonna do? Over here, I just planted some peppers. Now's about the time when you can start planting these. It's starting to get hotter. Those are gonna be habaneros. Um, I planted a lot of peppers last year. So I'm only doing a few this year, a few hot peppers, but I really suggest growing those if you have a lot of sun. Really, really easy to grow. Does not take much maintenance and they're really high producers. You're gonna get a ton of sexy, sexy little hot peppers all season long. We got some beans growing here. Those are gonna give back to my soil. That's called a cover crop, which actually puts nutrients back into the soil that your plants need for next season, which is very important. There you go. There's a nice chunk of my garden right there. Uh, I got a few more things growing, but you saw most of the good stuff. Um, you know, now's the time where you just hang out and watch the things grow. It's a really sweet time in your garden. It's a sweet time in life because it's June and the temperature is like 75 to 80 degrees. It's perfect right now. I see why plants grow so well in California because this seems to be the temperature, you know, all summer long. It's just so nice for plants. They're never too cold or they're never too warm. So nothing really dries out and dies. It's, uh, it's a beautiful time. It's like a freaking spa out here for these things. I hope you guys start planting on your roof, get in your garden, and you know, enjoy the rewards all season long. Talk to you later.